All right, guys, what's up? Today, we're going to be checking out a little bit of a course vlog that I did. It's not anything special. I just kind of recorded a couple of holes with my cousin, and I kind of wanted to see what it's like and just really get used to recording these because I want to do these more, especially now with 2K23 on the horizon. The channel is going to be popping with golf stuff. I would love to get some really good course vlogs in there. Um, I, I want Alex to come over, and I want to just kind of get it right. I, you know, I want to just kind of get it set and get the, uh, get the videos pumping out there with the shot tracer and kind of seeing how each camera sets up. Today I was just using my iPhone, I didn't have my GoPro with me, but I think the GoPro is kind of better just for static shots from the bag. So we'll see what happens. Please do drop a like if you want to see more course vlogs on the channel, and I will make sure to try and bring them to you. And let's jump into this thing. I'm going to be talking over certain parts as well, because we didn't really like talk over every single part in the course vlog, but let's do it. We played like three holes, I think. I think we played, well, we played holes three, four, five, six, seven we played five holes but we didn't have the shots from every hole or whatever but you'll see now i was using my arcos as well i had a birdie put on the first hole and this was like just we hadn't recorded this hole at all but i just said to my cousin record this birdie putt just in case i make it and as you can see it just slipped by the left hand side but the first hole tap in par not too bad i ended up bogeying the second hole so i was one over through two and then we stepped up to the third <laughs> look at this dude <laughs> look at this dude <laughs> we stepped up to the third tee box my cousin was up first i think he got a power on the last hole and he is garbage no i'm just kidding he's like um he doesn't play golf regularly he's kind of a casual golfer i think when he did play back in the day he had a 16 handicap and there you see he has a nice All customary right! fade and i have to shout for right that was a little bit of an exaggeration. That was atrocious. I've actually had severe trouble with slicing the ball recently. It is what it is. It happens to the best of us, but I've been fixing it. As I said, I went out and watched Good Good Golf a little bit, and I was definitely improving in this video here. Um, this was actually my third shot. I think I was like 140 yards out or something like that. You can see the green there where I'm aiming towards the pin just left of that bunker there. And I did have a shot. It wasn't ideal, but I did have a clean shot here to get to the green. But unfortunately, I did not get to the green. I ended up putting it in the bunker there, uh, just to the right-hand side. It was just short and right. Whoa. My, co my cousin just went through the green. I didn't even end up recording the rest of this footage, but I ended up with a double bogey on that hole somehow. I, I was in the bunker. I bladed it through the green and then came back onto the green and ended up with a double bogey. It wasn't pretty. My cousin, um, I can't remember if he had a, a bogey there, I think, but he definitely didn't have a double like me. And he hits a really good shot there. You can see the ball just traveling towards and fading towards that pin there. Short, is it? How far short is that? Is it on the green? It's a nice shot onto the front of the green and up steps the young scallywag. I've been hitting my irons pretty well recently. I had a seven iron in hand. I think the hole is about 170, 180 yards, I think it was playing. And my seven iron usually goes 180, so. My shot actually ended up sitting down a lot quicker than my cousin's. My cousin ran up. Mine sat down very quickly. So I had a long putt. I think it ended up going like 165 yards, according to my Arcos here. Uh, I've been using the Arcos really well. The greens were running a lot slower than I was expecting. I was struggling with the pace of them massively because the putting green was super fast. And then I come on to the, to the actual green and it ended up being just like way slower than i anticipated there's nothing worse than that honestly and i think this might have been a birdie putt for my cousin in the end because it did run up quite a bit fuck what a bobble at the start tap it in son tap it in good part The three putt king. 
Who would have guessed? That's an awful putt. As I said, I was really struggling with the pace. I can hit the ball. <laughs> so this is the fifth hole. We both hit really good shots. I actually hit a 302 yard drive on this hole and I'll get that up on the screen there now when it comes to my shot here. But uh, I had hit a 302 yard. I have a screenshot of this on my Arcos here. Uh, I think I had about 100 and 510 yards in, something like that. So as you can see, pretty nice wedge shot. Uh, the tracer was a little off there towards the end, but it landed about 10 foot short of the pin. And we'll see that putt in a little bit. My cousin was just off to the right. Had too much juice in it. Uh, it's a tough one. Oh shit. I can hit this now. Here, my cousin fucking hit this now because I'm leaving them all short. I did hit it, but a little bit of a misread. Left it out to the right. It didn't come back in as much as I thought. And it's a tap-in paw. Well, that's a little bit more than a tap-in for me, but uh, we got the par cleaned up. And that's index one as well. He's not hit it at all, Johnny. Can it be a tap-in bogey though? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Will we give you that one? No. This was the sixth hole. Uh, it comes back up along and I had my tee shot here and it was not good. Let me tell you that before I hit it. It was this is this is not a pretty golf swing. Look at that. That went dead left. That was a duck hook. Hit okay, the tree. Shit. Got actually quite a lucky bounce, not going to lie to you, and came out just the other side of the tree and I had a little bit of a shot to the green. Um, well, I had to get up and over this tree, so it wasn't easy to get it to the green, but I had a shot out of the trees at least. We hit it out to the right of the green. This was my paw putt. So, tapped in for a bogey there. And we move on to the par 3 7. Gorgeous on, hole. Son. Really nice hole. And I hit a gorgeous shot here, guys. It was really Ooh. nice. Six iron. I think it went 200 yards in the end. It was really, really nice. Uh, it was pin high. There's a little bit of a valley right behind the green to the left hand side of the green. How I didn't go down that, I didn't know. You'll see here in a second when I'm talking about it. But my cousin did not hit a good one. <laughs> Where'd that go? outrageously good golf shot i have no idea how we stopped it there because literally one more foot and it goes all the way down this hollow and down in there but i've been watching a lot of good good golf i've been watching grant give bobby a couple of lessons it was kind of very similar bobby was uh, suffering very similar to what i was doing where it's like he was just hitting a slice and i've never really suffered a slice before so um i didn't really know how to rectify it at all but watching Grant give Bubby a couple of lessons on good good really helped sort me out here today. I mean, I haven't been perfect, but that's a good looking golf shot. It needs to sit badly. See, this is what would have happened to mine. That's what, that's what was very close to happening to mine. But we stayed up. Also, this is where I pitched. This is a 200 yard par three. So I don't know how I got it to stop like that. Oh, what a shot. What a shot, mate. After a wonderful tee shot, 205 yard, six iron, I roll it up there nice and close um, to tap it in for a par. And uh, that's a great par on that, but oh. Oh. You fucking... <laughs> I'm an idiot, guys. I'm so stupid. I went up there to tap it in thinking it was a it was a great three. I left the birdie putt short. This was the ninth Ooh. hole there, the hole we were finishing off on. Um, we both had a couple of birdie putts, actually, which was nice. My cousin ran his by a little bit. Mine was just beyond the pin. Uh, I hit a good one 
and it kind of just kept running because this this green tends to fall away from you and we gave it a good go there but just slides by the right hand side and i definitely want to do more professional golf vlogs in the future where i'm kind of talking while i'm playing rather than um like doing an after com like this that's why i'm just having this putt run again now but really appreciate the support guys please do drop a like if you want to see more course vlogs you want to see better course vlogs let me know